Thank you very much. The member for Oshawa. The Premier and the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing are using a tool called a Minister's Zoning Order to bulldoze the planning process across communities. Minister's Zoning Orders were once rare, but in the last eight months, under the cover of COVID, this government has quietly issued more than the last government issued in 15 years. The MZOs allow the government to exempt certain projects from public consultations, environmental reviews, and other planning rules, and they cannot be appealed. The Minister should not Excuse me, the Premier should not be using a pandemic as cover to issue dozens of MZOs to pave over farmland and irreplaceable, provincially significant coastal wetlands like Duffins Creek and Pickering. We've already lost an estimated 90 percent of wetlands across the GTA. Speaker, Duffins Creek is a beautiful area with swans and birds and wetland critters to keep you company. I've taken my paddleboard for hours exploring the creek and then paddling out onto Lake Ontario. The creek wends and winds through cattails and grasses and takes you into stands of trees that arch low across the creek draped with fruited grapevines, like a scene out of Narnia. It is a favourite local place to go for families, cyclists, picnickers and kayakers, but the minister has made a deal to pave paradise and put up a warehouse. Wetlands are awesome. They serve as filters and essentially the lungs of our ecosystem, mitigating flooding, sequestering carbon, filtering runoff, purifying drinking water, and protecting the quality of the lakes they guard. No warehouse will do that. The province can't just replace significant wetlands or make it up to folks. And if the government's plan is to take all of the trees and put them in a tree museum, they should not expect communities to let them get away with it. Thank you.